I call it like ground surfing because it's such a feeling of just carving against the ground and it's the closest that Minnesotan can get to surfing without going to California. It just always was something that I could use to relieve stress and go off and do my own thing. My parents didn't like it because I could break bones or something else could happen, but I did it. I got in trouble and then the next week I went out. I loved it. After freshman orientation, I was so stressed out because I owed $20,000 to Concordia, St. Paul. I went back home and went longboarding and hit a trail that was too wet and I wasn't ready for it and I cut up my arms and legs and I had to go into the local caribou coffee all bloody to wash it off and I knew the person behind the counter and they said you know did you just get beat up no I fell off my longboard and they laughed and I laughed at them because they didn't get to go longboarding it didn't stop me but I was a little scared the next time I went I definitely didn't take it that fast I've always been watching BMX and snowboarding, skateboarding. Some of these hills get really scary and even going down from my apartment in Oakland to the main campus area, that four-way hill is vicious. I am the most extreme weenie I can be. I'll do everything, but I won't get... I've never put my life in harm's way. My mom told me that since she's in Texas, I can't go and get hit by a car longboarding in Minnesota.